Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, tonight you're in for a treat. I'm going to do my first politically correct show because I am now being to tutored, tutored by propaganda buster Tony. That's right, Michael Fazio is going to do his first politically correct show tonight. And the name of the show is A Chimp in Charge, Defined Proper by Michael Fazio. Now, according to the liberals, there is no God. Therefore, we must by proxy be descendants of chimpanzees. If this is in fact the case, and according to political correctness and liberalism, there is in fact no God, and therefore we are descendants of chimpanzees. That being the case, and having been said proper, then therefore we are all chimps. However, some chimps are created more vertical than others. Take this chimp for example. This chimp over here that is snorting cash. This is the snort in cash chimp that's in charge and I will introduce you to him closer in a minute. Notice the way he snorts the cash and his hair turns green. He's a cash snorting mother jumper he is and he is known as the vertical chimp because he is more vertical than the other chimps. And this particular role of being the vertical chimp, most vertical chimp, and the chimp in charge, falls and is bestowed upon this fellow named Slumbozo, who resides out of Chicago, just like in the Rocky movies. Of course, there are hundreds of other chimps that work with the head chimp, so there must be a methodology to define which chimp is actually in charge for sure. And in this case, we want to create a society of a people that understand which chimp is in charge. Therefore, we are going to mix all the races together so that we can become politically correct and destroy the white civilization and the black civilized nations of the world. And we're going to make a brown race. And then when we say there's a chimp in charge, no one will get offended. That, ladies and gentlemen, is political correctness. So how would we determine who is the chimp in charge? He would be the most vertical chimp. And after snorting three tons of cash, let me tell you, he's vertical. Thus, at this point, you should have a much greater understanding of who is actually running America. However, if there was a question and answer session, it would sound something like this. Who is, in fact, running America? And then the answer would be simple. The chimp in charge, a.k.a. the vertical chimp, a.k.a. the animal in the White House. Now, having said that, and putting his little straw back in so he can snort some more cash, who is running America? The chimp in charge. Well, if we are all chimps, how do we determine which chimp it is? Remember, this is a question and answer session. We moved past political correctness. Well, it would be the chimp that stands most vertical, a.k.a. the vertical chimp in charge. Silence. Thanks for clearing that up. Question. Thank you for clearing that up, but how does this chimp determine what the right thing to do is so that he can lead America into the proper path for the New World Order to destroy the economic structure of the United States of America. Don't be silly. The chimp in charge doesn't make any actual decisions. He is nothing more than a mere puppet. The real puppeteer is on a throne in England. She is not a descendant of the chimp in charge per se. She has other bloodlines that run through her veins. And those bloodlines come from baboons a slightly colder species of chimpanzees. So, the question that would arise next, naturally, by deduction, is, so, the chimp in charge, a.k.a. the vertical chimp, is being told to do by a baboon? Well, it would seem that there would make sense that there would be a baboon giving directions. However, we must remember that the baboons had descendants, and the descendants of the baboon that is sitting on the throne at this particular time 
is a female of the species, therefore making her a babunette. Am I making myself clear? So this female of the species is now known as a babunette or the Queen of England. Question. So the chimp in charge, a.k.a. the vertical chimp, is nothing more than a puppet to the babunette. Answer. That's right. That is correct. The chimp in charge, a.k.a. the vertical chimp, is under the direct control of a babunette. That's with an E-T-T -T at the end. And you can Google vertical chimp or animal in the White House or the chimp in charge and come to these same conclusions. Little statement, thanks for clearing that up, but I have one additional question. And here's the question. Question, is it politically correct to call the chimp in charge, aka the vertical chimp, a puppet of the babunette? Of course it is, because according to the liberals, there is no God. Don't be silly. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to get a bigger camera. I hope you enjoyed my first politically correct show.